Return of the disc, return of the podcast, whatever you want to call it. Welcome back to Return of the Disc. Of course, I am Dan. Today, I'm going to give you a little bit of a flavor of podcast feel. Return of the disc, return of the podcast. As always, I'm Dan. And today, I want to talk about just everything that's been going on. And we're going to say goodbye to one of my favorite shows. But first of all, I got to say, when I went out to get gas the other day, I stopped by the record store. I don't know about you guys out there, but the place here was pretty empty as far as movies. There was a few Blu-rays, but a lot of DVDs. Of course, records. I love records, but I'm a little concerned that a lot of these used places are becoming emptier and emptier. I know Best Buy announced that they're done with physical media as of early 2024 this year. And now as of February 1st, I I can just kind of feel other stores following suit. I was in Menards of all places and they, they sell movies on the, they had a big pink sign that said 50% off all DVDs. So there you go. That's the tombstone. They're done probably with physical media, the sale, like in gives me the indication that they're out of the game. Now, they mostly did have DVDs. I was looking for Blu-rays particularly, but I did pick up a couple things. First thing I picked up was for a buddy, uh, Clerks 3, my buddy Robert. Shout out to you, Robert, if you're watching. Um, Clerks 3 is an amazing sequel to uh, and finalization of the Clerks trilogy by Kevin Smith. And, you know, being it be like a buddy movie, uh, couldn't find a better gift for somebody for their birthday. It was also $2, so what a great deal, um, half price right now at Menards. Second thing I picked up, and I haven't seen any of these films, not really familiar with anything that Randolph Scott has done, but 12 Classic Westerns, the Randolph Scott Collection. Now, Criterion put out a similar set with Randolph Scott recently. That includes the the Tall T, Decision at Sundown, Buchanan Rides Alone, Ride Lonesome, and Comanche Station. Those are all on here. And then there's seven other films on here. We have The Desperados, The Nevadan, Santa Fe, Man in the Saddle, Hangman's Knot, The Stranger Wore a Gun, A Lawless Street. So the Randolph Scott, I guess he was a Hollywood cowboy legend. The always tall in the saddle hero who helped define the genre, rustle up a spot and enjoy 12 of his classic westerns. Now there's featurettes in here, commentaries, collectible booklet. So I got all the point is I got all this on Blu-ray for six bucks. And I, I just feel like that was kind of a steal as far as how many movies there are. There's what's uh, 16 hours and eight minutes of movies here. And this is by Mill Creek. So, not expecting like the Criterion restorations here, but you know, might be good to look into in a future video. And what came this week is the big one that everybody's really picking up is the Conan Chronicles. Yeah, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer on 4K UHD from Arrow. Expect my review very, very soon. I had never seen Conan the Barbarian or the Destroyer, of course, but yeah, I, I'll get more into that in a later video. But it, this is like the definitive collection for the Conan fan out there. There's, just, there's so many different cuts of the Conan Barbarian, and there's like posters, a huge booklet. Arrow went all out with the restoration, so I'm really looking forward to. I've been diving in. I've watched both of the films right now. I'm going to do a little bit more of a deep dive before I shoot my video, but I'm excited about that one. Man, it's just, you know, TV shows, I don't watch a whole lot of them, but when I do, I really love them. And one of the TV shows that I grew fondly of when it, I think it was like season five or maybe four or five started watching on HBO because I had just become like that age where it was like appropriate for me to watch and that's Larry David's Curve Your Enthusiasm and 
the show's about to end. Sunday, the first episode of the final season, the 12th season that started in the year 2000. So 24 years, 12 seasons of Larry David's Curb Your Enthusiasm, and we're, we're embarking on the end of one of the greatest comedies, in my opinion. It's just, it's just a fantastic show, but I wanted to show you guys um, my collection of Curb Your Enthusiasm DVDs. Unfortunately, I, they haven't released these on Blu-ray or anything, but Curb Your Enthusiasm was around when like the 4-3 ratio was still popular and you had the tube TVs. Then they switched over to the widescreen cameras on like season seven and, and, and high definition. So if you want like a little bit of a history of the evolution of technology and television, Curb Your Enthusiasm has that from 2000 to now. Um, so, but yeah, let's start with the first season. And <laughs> it's funny cause that, the casing um very classy old school I, I mean i remember buying this and you know and showing my cousin like on a trip or something we had to like sneak in a couple episodes because they're kind of inappropriate but the, the whole the whole slide out mechanism that's that's so retro but yeah i have the complete first season plus the one hour special which was called just curb enthusiasm basically following larry and jeff around and they're like pitching the show idea to hbo and then season two, same thing. Flip out all the episode guides. And if it works still, yeah, there it is, there it is. So each season had 10 episodes. Um, the third season, always some cool posters. And you can see Larry's hair gets grayer and whiter as the seasons go on he's got, he's got more complaining to do um, yeah there we go stretch it out season four yeah yeah i think no this is yeah this is the one i think i watched as it was going and got into the show when he does uh the producers um there's just been some great, so many great episodes over the season, over the years. Um, the first three seasons didn't really have like storylines. Then season four really started that storyline with the whole Broadway thing. And then we get into the fifth season. I believe this is where he gets a divorce. I can't remember, but yeah, this. Yeah, Kamikaze Bingo. That's that's a great episode too. With his dad. Um, season six. Yeah, this this is the. Uh, mm, no, not yeah. This is the. There's a whole storyline about getting a kidney to, to Jeff and stuff. So it's this one had the fold out, and apparently I. Apparently, disc two of season six is missing because I uh, put Crazy Heart, the original motion picture soundtrack, in here somewhere. So I'll have to check my Crazy Heart CD and <laughs> find that disc. Seventh season was the Seinfeld reunion. I think this is one of the better seasons. Great season all around. Hilarious stuff. Hip, uh, Jerry and Larry are just, they're so funny. This one's a slipcover. Interesting. I haven't looked at these in a while, obviously. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just so good. Got the whole cast back for the reunion. Season eight, New York. Let's see. Yeah, Palestinian Chicken. That one, Larry said yesterday in an interview that was his favorite episode. That's got to be one of my favorite episodes, too. I took a, a, a college class, and that was the one they showed us, and we broke it down in class. And I decided to write a, a spec episode just for fun, where Larry is annoyed by his superfan, but by the end of the episode, he takes a bullet for the superfan. So I'm curious if how this season 12 is going to end. Uh, will Larry survive? 
And then the last one I own is season 10, so I don't have 9, and I don't have 11. 11, I gotta be honest, it's probably the weakest one of the series. And yeah, the packages become more basic and not as classy as the prior seasons. But yeah, I'm really excited to see a new season despite season 11 not being as funny to me. So what do you guys think of Kirby Enthusiasm? Do you guys have the seasons? Do you watch Kirby Enthusiasm out there? Let me know in the comments. And also, did you pick up anything new? I also have like Red Rock Canyon and Little Darkness coming from Vinegar Syndrome. Really excited about those. So that's stuff to look forward to on the channel. Um, just wanted to give a little bit of a longer episode here and kind of experiment. So thanks for watching. And as always, this has been Return to the Disc. I'm Dan.